Hi, welcome. I'm Helena Davis and this is your health tip of the week. I just read a recipe for a lentil dip which didn't recommend pre-soaking the lentils. Today I'm going to discuss with you why you should pre-soak any lentils to help educate you around this topic. Stay tuned. Foods such as nuts, seeds, legumes, beans and grains all store phosphorus as phytic acid. When phytic acid is bound to a mineral in these foods, it's known as a phytate. Phytates work like anti-nutrients. They have bound various minerals in the food, making these minerals hard for you to digest. If you consume foods that are high in phytates, it's possible you won't absorb a lot of the minerals from that food as these are bound to the phytic acid. We break down around 37 to 66% of phytates from the food that we eat. This breakdown occurs in our stomach and our small intestine. In theory, that means that we don't break down between 34 to 63% of the minerals from these phytate foods that we consume. If you consume foods that are high in phytates and have trouble digesting them, you can get a lot of bloating, abdominal pain or loose bowels shortly after consuming them. Minerals such as calcium, iron and magnesium are all essential for our bodies to function. When we eat foods that are high in these minerals and also high in phytates, these minerals can be difficult for our body to break down and absorb. Phytates get broken down by pre-soaking these foods that contain phytates in water prior to consuming them. Sounds easy, right? This just requires a small amount of preparation work before you start cooking, ideally at least the day before. With most of these foods, it's a good idea to soak these in fresh water for at least 12 to 24 hours prior to cooking them and consuming them. Essentially, you are activating the nutrients in these foods and deactivating phytates, which are those anti-nutrients that bind onto these minerals, making them unavailable for your body to uptake. Once you are done pre-soaking these foods, rinse them under fresh water and you'll be ready to go. Foods such as beans and legumes will then need to be cooked in fresh water before consuming. Foods such as nuts and seeds can be eaten straight away or put into a dehydrator to dry them out. You've probably seen activated nuts for sale at health food shops. This is the process that the manufacturer would have undertaken to do this. The soaking times for nuts vary, therefore it's best to check how long is recommended for whatever nut or seed you are wanting to activate. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I'd love for you to hit the like button, share with anyone you think would enjoy this, and leave a comment. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I'll be personally reading and I'll respond to as many as I can. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Helena Davis and that is your health tip of the week.